Okay, guys, this is Miss Collins again. Let me just turn it this way so you can get a better look. All right, so I'm in, I'm in the bathroom like I showed you before in the last video. They're fixing it. They're trying to fix it. That's supposed to be. You know what that's supposed to be. <laughs> I feel like I'm near death. This is supposed to be a new apartment. This is supposed to be an apartment issued to me under reasonable accommodation grievance hearing 2017. Two HP actions from my old apartment to this new apartment. This is not a new apartment. <laughs> but my property manager is working with me and um, unfortunately her staff deceived her. Her staff did not tell her that this apartment was this badly molded. And when I say this badly molded, this is what I mean. The carpenters came, they knocked out this bathroom. I showed you guys in my last video. Now take a look behind the walls. You see how badly that's molded? How badly molded that is. Two HP actions. I came from 2041 to this apartment, 607. Didn't even unpack my bags and nothing yet. Everything is still packed up. Let me see that again. Everything is still packed. Nothing is unboxed. Everything is still in boxes. See this? Your thing is still packed. Nothing is unboxed. And um yeah, they gotta put the sheet rock over this. How could now, the property manager, she doesn't come in and look at this stuff. Her staff, her superintendent is supposed to come in. And her maintenance people. And her housing assistant, the one with the mouth. Oh, my man, Ms. Khan, this is just the layout. This is the layout. Blah, blah, blah. From the time I made that video with her until now, this shouldn't be happening. Two HP actions. Index 30, 45, slash 10. And then index... 37, 17, 37, slash 15, and the reasonable accommodation grievance hearing in 2017, 17, 37, slash 15, and then the reasonable accommodation. So as a result of their reasonable accommodation, as a result of NYCHA giving me a reasonable accommodation, this is the reasonable accommodation that they gave me? This is the reason why when people email me and say to me, Ms. Collins, make sure you vote. Make sure you vote. You know, you you know you're a decadent voter. Come out and vote. Make sure you come out and vote. This is why I'm like. Really? This is why to me, that's a bunch of crap with that. Oh, you need to come out and vote because voting makes a difference. This is the difference that voting makes. This is the difference that voting makes. You see the difference that voting makes? This is the difference. I've been voting for years. For decades and decades and decades. I'm 51 years old. I've been I'm a United States citizen. I've been voting for years. <laughs> and this is what I get. This is what I get. Death. Death. What did I... Was my request major? Or minor. It was simple. It was simple. Oh, but you're not the only person. I'm not the only person. I'm not like anybody else. I'm not like anybody else. And I should not be compared to anyone else. I'm nothing like anybody else. Okay? And I don't care. Anybody who wants to say whatever, clap as much as you want because I'm a clap back. Okay? I'm going to clap back. I, I go out of my um 
I go out of my circle and I go to other people's homes and I advocate for them. I advocate for people. So for, for me to advocate for somebody else to make sure that they're treated fairly, look what happened to me. Look what happened to me. Look. <laughs> and I'm not getting paid. Nobody's not paying me for doing advocating for nobody. It's because I care. Because I have a heart. Nothing. I should be getting up in my so-called new apartment, making a nice hot breakfast and coffee and just chilling. But except that, I'm going through this. I have to wear masks. We're giving the whole box of masks. Okay. Everybody, all of those, that superintendent and that housing assistant and the assistant manager located at 575 Howard Avenue, the assistant manager, the housing assistant, Davis, those women, detailed. The superintendent, detailed. That housing assistant, Davis, detail her. That assistant manager, detail her. Because none of this was brought to the attention of the property manager, Miss Gibbs. None of this was brought to her. I brought this issue to her. I brought the mold findings to her. Not her staff. Not her staff. I brought it to her. I told her this. I showed her the photos and the videos. Miss Collins, Miss Tell it like it is. I spilt the tea to the property manager and she was beside herself in anger when she came here personally and she saw this. And when she found out about the tenant in 1L, she was so upset. And the apartment, and all these other apartments that I visited where I came back and showed her photos and videos. She called her staff ASAP <laughs> into a meeting. And... Did you pay? Yes, I did. I paid my rent. I paid the rent. I paid the rent for this apartment a month in advance. I paid every fee that you could possibly think of. As a matter of fact, not only did I pay the rent a month in advance, I paid extra on the rent. <laughs> Just to come in here and be greeted with this. Some people are greeted with nice welcome packs and nice little baskets of welcome to the neighborhood Welcome to your new apartment. I got treated by welcome to mold. It's a new apartment. I have to laugh because besides my nosebleeds and my tears, what else can I do? But am I going to stop advocating for people? No, I'm not. Absolutely not. So with that being said... This is Miss Collins. Miss Tell It Like It Is. 48 the tea. Spilling the molded. <laughs>